We're here with Grandmaster Levon Aronian, the early leader of the 2015 Sink Field Cup, the first game to finish. What were your overall impressions of the way that Fabiano played today? Yeah, well, uh, it's a it's a line that he likes to play with black, so it was kind of a, a principled fight because I mean, black uh, with 94, they they want to fight for three results. As in the other lines, you're you're a bit suffering, but then you're playing for a draw. So uh, yeah, I've analyzed some sort of positions like this. Not I won't say too closely, but. I kind of like the pawn on c6. It makes me happy. And I have a, I, I have a pawn there. So, and I thought uh, generally uh, his his g5 pawn was kind of uh, wobbly at times. So, I, I think um, I think after rookie one, I thought that was a precise move. My position is slightly better. I, I was actually uh, very surprised with his f5 because I thought f5, f3 is just always in my favor. So I was expecting him to take on d4. And then I have a really interesting move, rook c2 to c1. Like I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting a move and then I'm, I'm threatening e5 because immediately e5 is not so good. So yeah, I, I felt that would be an interesting position to play, and I was kind of excited. But after a five, I got even more excited. Yeah. And, and after you played knight e4, allowing the knight d4 fork, I assume you had everything worked out at that point. No, sure. I mean, uh, I was actually not expecting knight c2. I thought rook f1 just kills. Uh, I, I was uh, thinking he wants to play knight d4, queen h5, uh, bishop to f5, uh, and then rook f2, bishop g6. But I mean, the position is pretty unpleasant for Black. Probably close to losing. So after Queen H5, Bishop F5, every reasonable player would look at Queen F7 first. But how long did it take you to find Rook F1? No, I saw it immediately when when I uh, when I was calculating uh, this line because it's kind of cute. He plays Bishop G6, but it doesn't help because there's a check in Queen H6. So so there was some panache in the way you won today. I think so. It seemed like you're really enjoying yourself there. Would you? Uh... Sure. Well, I mean, it's always enjoyable when when you're attacking, even even when it doesn't work. Sometimes, it's still, there is a, there is a joy in, in in having a chance to attack such yep. a strong opponent. Yesterday at the press conference, you said that America was a land of opportunity. I've never heard somebody use that in a chess sense before. Uh, how did you come up with that line? No, I don't know. It was. Uh, I think it was kind of a joke. I mean, of course, America is, but uh, to, to use it in chess uh, context, I, I thought that was that was funny. Final question. A lot of people were surprised to see you working, training with Carlson, or at least playing some preparatory games or something. Can you reveal anything that happened in Southampton? Well, there was a lot of fight, a lot of uh, competition, especially in the basketball court. So. That's that's the secret. We, we we play a lot of basketball. So it was a decathlon, but chess was only one of the events. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much for your time. Good luck going forward. Thanks.